and welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Today we're going to show you some cows that we took to the sale yesterday and I'm going to give you, show you my plant haul, my seed haul, and a little bit of a garden update, the raised bed. That's about all I can update right now, but um, oh, I should take you to see the potatoes. Anyway, that's what this video is about, so stay tuned as we talk gardening and I show you what I've got and so far what's coming up in the raised bed. Easter Monday constitutes um, sale day. So we're taking a few cows to the sale today. And Judah's coming out here with me to look at them. We have an older mama cow. And then we have some younger bull cows. Maybe, a, you know, I think they're all bulls. You don't want multiple bulls on a farm. So once they get a certain age, we take them. Now there's a heifer. So yeah, this one right here is a heifer. She's going. Not sure what the other ones are. I know there's a couple bulls and an older mama cow and a heifer. Not sure what the other one is. So, yep, we're going to the sale today. Hey guys, we are headed to our local greenhouse to pick up some plants to put in the garden. Some tomato plants and pepper plants. Um, I did start some seedlings myself, but I wanted some good ones um, that were started a little earlier that I know will be a little hardier than, because um, mine are, I started a little late in the in time. So I'm still going to plant mine and pray and hope they make it. And, and this is just a trial and error for me this year. Um, so that's where we're headed. Bryant and I got up early, early this morning and we went to our local seed store that still sells seed in bulk. And um, I love the seed in bulk. Y'all, I'm sorry the sun is so crazy. <laughs> it's behind me and it's shining in. So, but um, I love getting my seed in bulk and um, that's where we went this morning. Um, and I when we get home, I'll show you my whole seed haul. I'll show you my plant haul. And I'm going to give you a raised bed garden update. Y'all, you have to overlook all the little weeds in there because last week, well, last week and a half, it rained and rained and rained and rained and rained. And then we were selling chickens, which is like three days, all day long, all night long of nonstop work. And... And then what little bit of downtime we had, we were napping. And um, and then we had Easter and all the Easter festivities. So the weeds have kind of gotten the upper hand in the raised bed garden. But there's some really exciting stuff in the raised bed. So I'm excited. I'm gonna stop here and get a tank of gas and then we're headed on to the greenhouse. And when I get home, I'm gonna show you all of my haul. So I'm excited. So. Um, I'll see you when we get home. Okay, we're here getting our tomatoes. I've got a flat of German Johnson's. I have some of those at home already, but they're hopefully going to make it. There's Caroline. See her? And look at Judabug. There's his tomato plants that um, he's getting right there. Check this out. Oh, yeah, I've heard about those. Get one little thing of those, one three thing of those. We're getting to try all kinds of things. They look good. Yep. Look at it. I mean, look at them. Yep. Do you want to see? Do you want? Oh, here. Is it showing? I don't know. It's called a pineapple, pineapple. tomato beef steak. I hear they're really good and sweet. So we're gonna see. We're gonna try. Gonna try. We're gonna try three of them. Here is the greenhouse. These are all tomatoes, and they are so beautiful. And these Love are these large ones are huge up there towards the front. That's where we're going to get uh, uh, Bryant's brandy wines. These are all tomatoes and peppers. It is? Hey, Judebug! See, we like flowers. <laughs> These are cool. 
It's like succulent almost. Mm -hmm. It feels like cabbage. There's her outdoor plants. They're so beautiful. I think this is called lamb's ear. Is it bloom? No. This looks like a succulent of some sort. Oh my, I can't remember. I that. I'm sorry. And this. Ooh, I like the pink. Is it a ground cover? It's a perennial. Della, the los. Here it is in orange and yellow. Here we are at all her flowers. Aren't they beautiful? Look at the geraniums. Wow, and the petunias. Aren't they pretty? Gerber daisies. Oh, I love Gerber daisies. That's pretty. I know, I was looking at that. Hold me the tag up so I can see it. See them, old them. Look, here's some cucumbers, looks like a squash. I usually plant that by seed. More peppers, looks like. Yep, California Wonders. They're the green bell peppers. What you think, dude, bug? What you think? Are you over it? You're over it? Get the actual thing. How unique is that? Oh, look at the little buds. They even come up like little open, little puffy, little puffy things. Mm. That's so cool. This is some sweet alyssum. I should get some of that to go in my it. garden. For what? What's it good for? It causes bees to come to your garden to pollinate your blooms so yeah, you get I fruit. Near my front door. Well, I mean, anything that blooms is like a, is going to be good for pollinators. So anything that you have blooming. You just like to put something blooming in your garden to cause the pollinators to come. Butterflies, bumblebees. I want a butterfly Look at that. Oh, is that the Pajaro mix? Is that what it is? Dahlia. Dahlia. Pretty pretty. Okay guys, I am back from getting my plants and I thought I would share with you guys what I got at the greenhouse. Now I'm so excited because next year, hopefully, I won't have to go to a greenhouse, I'll have my own. And I'm actually already planning to save some of these seeds, so I don't even have to, I'll purchase some seed of course, but um, I'm going to try to save seed and plan for next year as well. So let's take a look at what I got. Okay, this year I wanted to, I don't know if you can see this good in the sun or not. This year I wanted to um, do a lot of peppers. Peppers was really big on my list this year. So this whole flat right here, and they've already got blooms, y'all. I mean, I don't know if you can see that. See that little thing right there? Um, this whole flat right here is jalapenos. This whole flat is bell peppers. And those are the two, of course, that we use the most. I'm going to make um, some, like, jalapeno jelly, or, or it's kind of like a jelly. I'm not really sure what you call it, but um, it's really good to put on cream cheese and serve on crackers. 
Um, I'm gonna pickle some jalapenos. Um, our bell peppers, we just use those like crazy. And over here, uh-oh, over here, I have some sweet banana peppers, which we eat a lot of. We eat those on subs, like turkey subs a lot. And so I'm gonna try to, if I have enough of those, I'll pickle some of those. If not, we'll just eat them fresh. And um, this is a sriracha jalapeno. And I just got that just to try it, just because I thought it was cool. And these two up here are cayenne. And if I have enough of those, I'll dry uh, put some in the dehydrator and make um, cayenne pepper or cayenne seasoning So the main thing I went for was the tomatoes and that's probably what I got the least of This flat right here is the German Johnson's of course. I have mine that I've have in the house I got these just in case you know, I mean those don't aren't sturdy enough these are Bryant's favorite. These are his brandy wines, and they are humongous, and they are full of blooms. As soon as we plant these, we're going to have to trellis them immediately, and I need to come in here and prune the bottom limbs off really good, so um, these are going to take a little work immediately. Like these, so I can plant in the ground, and they'll be okay for a while. The brandy wines, it's immediate work as soon as we put those in the ground, but we'll have a harvest soon, too. Okay, these right here, I got some little cherry tomatoes. I have planted some seedlings myself. I don't know that they're going to make it, so I bought some because little Judah loves tomatoes. So these are his six plants right here, and we'll nibble on those while we're out playing in the garden. And then these were called pineapple beefsteak, and they just looked interesting, and I wanted to try them. So, and I'm actually hoping and praying these are German Johnson's. She said they were, but the tag's not in the, in any of them, so I hope she's right. Anyway, and then I also purchased a verbena bush, because I really want to start attracting more pollinators around here, and um, so that's the plan. So let's walk up to the um, raised bed. Judah's asleep in the car. I've got it running the air on. I just unloaded all these plants. So let's walk up here to the raised bed and I'll show you, remember, ignore the weeds, ignore the weeds. Okay guys, so here is my lettuce. Can you believe that? I mean, I want you to look how tall and how beautiful that lettuce is. And you just come out here with scissors and snip away and get you a salad. That is absolutely beautiful. Look, my other raised bed is finally put together. I've just got to get um, another bag of dirt. And I want to put some paper bags or something down to kind of keep the weeds out. I don't have any cardboard. Here's my cabbages, along with all the weeds. <laughs> and the one I found is coming back to life. It's making it. I've got a few bug bites on here. I probably have a caterpillar or some something on here so we're gonna I don't have any neem oil so I'm not sure what we're gonna spray it with but I can't find the caterpillar but it looks like there's been one on here so got some work to do with my cabbages there's my romaine lettuces aren't they beautiful there's a big airplane or something coming around my onion and my garlic. Good grief. Oh, those are army, army helicopters. Okay, yeah, there's all my weeds. <laughs> really not. There's my onions and my garlic. I, I do have a lot of weeds, but we'll work on that. I'm going to come out early in the morning while it's still cool. Alright, and my carrots are coming right along. But what I want to show you right here, I hope you can see it. Look! I have beets popping through the ground. I mean radishes, sorry. And see, this is why I should have thinned them. Look. They're like all together right here. Look! I have a radish! And see, that little one couldn't grow because this big one was on top of it. 
so it's been all I could do to keep Isaac out of these radishes. And my beets are coming right along. I'm really going to put some stuff down on this garden um, before I plant it again to keep the weeds out. I mean, they really came in with a vengeance. But my spinach is coming right along. I'm ready to start eating some of that. There's more radishes and more carrots. So, so there go. There is my raised beds um, update. Lots of weeds. They got to get out of there. But um, I have a radish. Yay! And there's several more. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna go in and wash that up. And um, and we'll go in and I'll show you my seed haul. It's exciting. Okay guys, I have got to go and get ready and wash my hair and get ready for um, a special service. I mean, a special practice tonight. Um, and so I thought I would just take this time and show you the seed haul. And we're gonna, I've showed you my plants. And so now I'm gonna show you the seed. Um, that we're gonna plant so hang on just a second okay unfortunately you're not really going to see anything except um, bags and envelopes that they came in I'm gonna plant a row of half runners so we got plenty of half runners here so those will be our green beans and we're gonna trellis those up I just dropped a seed that Judah will find. <laughs> um, these are purple holes and they kind of look like um, black eyed peas, very similar. But um, the hole will turn purple when they're ready to be picked. And that is like one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. They're very similar to a Crowder pea. Um, so uh, purple hole peas. Let me... Here we are having we're going to plant peaches and cream corn and it is kind of a yellow and white corn mix um, it is a sweet corn um, so this i'm excited about this i'm really excited i don't know how far that's going to go because i had planned on doing the whole back half of the garden um, that we have to drive to but um I don't think it's going to quite do it all, which is fine. I've got plenty of other stuff. Okay, and we're going to do pickling cucumbers, the National Pickling Cucumbers. This is cantaloupe. I can't remember what the name of the cantaloupe was, but we have some cantaloupe. Uh, we also have some zucchini, squash zucchini. We have, this is okra. I'm going to plant a lot of okra. And finally, but not least, squash. And I don't think I forgot anything, but I may have. And I also picked up this. Well, they gave me this sheet, which is really exciting. It's a vegetable planning guide. We saw a big poster up, and Brian says, wonder how you can get one of those posters. Well, he gave me this on... Um, a sheet so I'm going to put it in a sheet protector and it tells you the vegetable the um, amount for a hundred foot row recommended varieties it has planting times for the our Piedmont the North Carolina where I live so this tells you when it's good to plant here shows you how deep to plant it how far apart to plant it uh, distance between rows, the best soil pH, and days to maturity, when you can harvest it. So, um, I'm really excited about that. And it goes all the way from asparagus, beans, beets, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, um, corn, endive, kale, to kohlrabi, leeks, lettuce, peas, peppers, potatoes, radishes. Uh, spinach, turnips, watermelon, all the way to watermelon. So it gives you about everything. And um, so yeah, I was excited to get that. And I also picked up this magazine. 
It's not the Farmer's Almanac. They had those too. But this is a magazine guide, a garden guide from the Old Farmer's um, Almanac. So I'm really excited to sit down and kind of look through this. Really excited. So I got my plants today. I got my seed today. Um, tomorrow I will plant the other raised bed and we will start planting our garden. I'm excited. I am excited. I'm ready to start canning and putting up and working hard on this garden and on this food. So I'm ready to get my harvest. <laughs> okay, so with the okra, it is this uh, crimson spineless uh, okra. I wanted to try to find some of that burgundy okra. I'm not sure the actual name of it, but they the pods are actually purple. I wanted to get some of those, but they didn't have those. So um, I didn't get that this year. Um, next year, I'm going to do a lot more um, ordering from catalogs because I want to try some really neat things. But I'm so excited. Um, as far as the squash I got, it was the summer straight neck squash. And so um, I'm not sure if the garden's going to get planted today, which is the day after the video was shot. Today is Wednesday, April 24th. Uh, I do have Judah all day, and um, Bryant's having to do some work at the chicken houses, and I do need him a little bit. And so, it may be tomorrow, or we may start it today and get and do today and tomorrow. Um, but I'm so excited to get my garden in the ground. I am a little late, later than I wanted to be, but that's okay. We have a long growing season. I just wanted to be able to... At the end of the summer, pull out the pull out my plants and then plant my fall garden. And the only problem with being late in planting is is they're probably still going to be producing when I need to pull them out. But um, counting on the fact that I'll just be tired of that plant. I'll just be tired of harvesting and putting up and preserving and whatever it is. And I'll be okay with pulling them up. And, um, or I may just find a spot for another garden. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this garden update. I'm going to bring you along, um, as I plant the garden or I'm going to try to anyway. Bright and I sometimes get a little snappy with each other when we're working in the garden. <laughs> Because I want him to do it my way, and he wants me to do it his way. <laughs> but um, anyway, so maybe I can edit those moments out. No, I'm just kidding. We really don't. I mean, we might have like, no, do it this way. No, do it this way. But we won't have words or anything. <laughs> so anyway, thank y'all for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. I hope you enjoyed this garden video. I know it's not a cooking video, but... Um, planting food so I can later on cook and make um, meals and so forth. Like, we're going to have a bunch of fried squash this year, a bunch of fried okra. Yum, 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 yum. Um, I'm going to show you how to can. I'm going to show you how to preserve. Um, yeah, we're going to we're gonna do a lot with this food, and I'm just praying I can keep the weeds out because the weeds are my biggest thing in a garden because I hate to weed. I hate to weed. And um, I, you can see that from my raised bed. Now, I really just didn't have time to weed in the raised bed. But, um, but like, I am dreading getting out there now. I, really, I hate to weed. And I ordered the weed fabric, but it's not here. And they haven't even sent me a shipping that it's even shipped. So, I don't know. I, I, I may be fighting a battle with weeds. And, y'all, sometimes I just let it win. I just let it win because I, I hate weeding so bad. So anyway, but thank y'all for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Share these videos with others so they'll um, subscribe as well. Thank you for watching. Those of you that are subscribed, thank you for being part of my family. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And give this video a good thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.